This is my favorite part. What is going on guys, Popson87 here, and today I'm bringing you round 2 of the ASR Season 3 Championship on F1 2017. This is the Chinese Grand Prix. Uh, China is usually a track I feel pretty good, good at, I mean after all, pad hacks. Um, so, I mean I was a bit disappointed to qualify P11 on the grid, not going to show qualifying as there wasn't really any highlights at all. My lap was a bit average, I was only 7 tenths of pole though, so that just shows how competitive this field are. It's just 7 tenths separate the top 11, basically. Um, it's, it's truly insane, and it's uh, it's pretty good to see, actually. It's really good for the league. A uh, lot of good competition, a lot of quick drivers out there. Uh, hopefully challenging the likes of New Zealand, Ryan, Warden, Greek. All, all of the quick guys are front. And there's my setup, basically. Quite low drag, 5-5 five, five rings. Uh, you want to have quite low drag around this track. Probably even less so for Bahrain. The... Uh, weather today is going to be all dry, all dry for qualifying, all dry for the race. Strategy is a one stop, soft to the mediums. A lot of guys going on the super soft to the mediums. So I'm going to have the benefit of better tyre wear. And I can extend the uh, first stint up much longer than the super soft runners can. Which is going to be a benefit for me later on in the race. So we're reading up for the five lights on the screen now. P11 the grid just behind Ben Daly, the first of the soft runners. And we're going to the lights out. Now, being old quite a while, <laughs> lights are down, away we go. We get a fairly okay start, all pretty even on the front. Ben gets a great start on IFNs. ends. He's going up his inside in turn one, and we already get front wing damage. Wow, that ended pretty quickly there. On the back of the Williams, who got shoved out by the Ferrari. I believe the Ferrari hitting the Haas in the back. And now we've got quite a bit of lag to contend with, a massive amount of lag to contend with there. As we have to get pa past IFNs as he's lagging all over the place, desyncing. Unfortunately, I, forget to, I forgot to include his clip, but he actually was alongside me pretty much all through this uh, first and second sector. And he, on my screen, he was just like a second behind me. So, a lot of desyncing going on. So, we desync past Ma Master Berserk as well on that start. Uh, both of those guys, notorious for desyncing issues, especially at the start of races. I'm not quite sure ha why it happens at the start of races and not much else during the race is a bit of a weird thing with co -master. maybe it's something to do with a new patch but um, now we're continuing on we've got throwing damage obviously so it's going to impact us for the rest of this lap as behind the front guru I believe has even more throwing damage than me as we go massively deep for that uh, left hander there and we've got Brock the stuff has already retired from this race very unfortunate for him he already retired on lap 3 of, Aus of the Australian Grand Prix and now he's retired straight away in this race and now we've got Exploded Emerald behind us as uh, Funk Guru went massively wide on the um, ex exit to the straight, basically. And uh, now we got the Haas in the slipstream. We've got the inside line. He's looking to the outside. We actually turned a bit too early because it's a little bit of a tight line. But uh, we've got the inside line anyway. Uh, Exploding Emerald can't get past us. And we're now going for the rest of that one. Hopefully, we can try and continue with this damage uh, for until, until the pit stop, until, until the pit window onto the medium tyres, that's going to be the aim anyway. So now we've got a few replays of the starts on board of AOR Charlie, who es escaped pretty much unscathed actually from the start. And now he's just basically watching on as a top four, already pulling away with this race. And they're just battling like crazy. Uh, don't need to, uh, <laughs> it's not really spoilers to uh, say that they're going to just walk it to those four for this race. Pretty intense battle for the lead. And that's Brock the stuff just completely collected by a lag car. My teammate actually came before. Uh, very unfortunate of him. Nothing he can do, just collected by, by an admin, as he says. So it's very unfortunate of him. Now we've got uh, Exploding Emerald once again going down my inside. Now it's just all about traction from the hairpin. And uh, with the pad traction, we easily outfloor him out of that traction zone. And he can't get past us. Although he got a much better run with a much better front wing through that final corner. He's going to look from the outside, going for going through turn one. I've got the inside line, so if you hold it much better as we go out, drift out quite wide. And he's got looking at me inside. I left the door open and he's gonna exploit it. So good job from him. I left it pretty easy in the end really, even though I defended quite well, I just left the door open going down the inside of turn two. So he's got the position now into P8 and I'm done relegated down to P9. Now on lap three, DRS is enabled, we've got Master Berserk all over the back of us now after his awful start. He got pole position. And because of his desyncing issues, he just completely fell back at the start. Very unfortunate of him. But he makes up the inside, and he has good traction, unlike his Burning Emerald. 
And he gets away from this as we're going through the final corner. He goes a little bit wide, so it's going to hamper his run. We've got DRS, and we've got pretty good straight line speed this race. It's got to be said, with a 5-5 wings. I'm not sure where everyone else is running, but probably not that low, actually, weirdly. As they're looking, Ryan is outside, going for turn one. It's going to be a lovely move. Ryan is outside. Side by side racing. I believe he's still got a full front wing, I'm not quite sure. But he's on the super soft tyres, so he's got a better grip anyway. As we go a little bit wide with the understeer and the soft tyres, and that's the position. And now into P9, but he's looking on the inside towards the uh, hairpin. A little bit of contact, and he's scooting across the gravel, and he's hit into the side of me. And that's just fully my fault. I defended too late to the inside, and Master Berserk just unfortunately just lost control at it hit him up side pod and then collected me a second time sort of like the incident in Singapore I defended too late I thought I thought I could cover the inside but it was just such a late maneuver and to be fair it probably impacted me much more than it did him because I had red framing damage he probably didn't get any damage from that but we're gonna see a replay for him on board this is a great racing though before the incident as a side-by-side -side action bit of body rubbing nothing really wrong with that at all uh, clean racing and now he's got a lovely run into the rich mix. I was a standard uh, mix obviously. Look at me inside and I just turned a little bit too late. Uh, it's just... you got got to own up to things like that. I had a similar incident with Joe but that was mostly lag involved. Uh, this time definitely not lag. I've got to hold my hands up and say that was definitely my fault. Uh, I'm, I'm just looking away. The Master Zerk is a decent guy and he has, he's actually uh, taking it to stewards, which I'm very grateful for. And uh, I think I've got to work on my cleanliness and races uh, from now on. But obviously, with the front wing damage, we have to go into the pit lane now. Can't stretch out for the one stop any longer. It's just not possible with the da amount of damage I've got. Master Zerk is starting to lag a little bit now, so I'm not quite sure what's happening. A little bit of decent going on again. As we're going on to the medium tyres, now unfortunately, if I was a wheel driver and if I had good tyre wear, I'd try and get these medium tyres to the end. But I just know I won't be able to do that. I just don't have the best tyre wear. Uh, never have really. And but what we can do is try and ex see how long we can extend this stint for. It should be these tyres should be okay to at least like lap 20 or something. And then I might be able to run super soft tyres at the end, go for a bit of qualifying lap blast. And let's see where I end up in this race. So the hunt for points still isn't over, believe it or not. Even though we're so far down the order on P15. Uh, make that P, yeah, P16, sorry. We're actually the last of all the runners, even though Master Berserk's behind us, which is a little bit weird. And he's still on track, so not quite sure what's happening there with the timer screens. As X Victor ahead, he got clicked to the side. Now he put on the medium tyres and was running to the end from lap two. So uh, good luck to him, really. He's actually got fat past Funkuru, so Funkuru not really on the best place this race so far. Unless maybe he has damage again, I'm not quite sure. My teammate is in the pit lane as we go pa try and get past Funkuru, but he defends very late. It just runs into the back of him, so we've got the outside line now towards the hairpin. Can we hold it? Round his outside. Looks like we can. Lovely maneuver. We've got a better traction using the pad traction to full advantage. And that's the position ever He taps us in the back as he goes into the pit lane. So I'm not sure what he's doing there. Mate, you, you, need, to, you need to ease off. People are going to turn to the corner. Uh, so it's a bit odd from him there. And actually costs me a bit of time. Especially to my teammate who's just come out of the pit lane. Only just ahead of us. Which is kind of surprising. Because he, he's doing the one stop as well. It's the first and only pit stop of the race. And he's all the way back with me and Vicho. Who both got collected at the start. Maybe he had some damage of some sort. I can't quite remember. But um, now lap 13. We've got a little bit of a train forming behind the McLaren. As KM4 tried to have a dive manoeuvre at the hairpin, but just fortunately it was too far back. And now this is really holding me up. I'm trying to make the most of these medium tyres. I'm sort of thrashing them a fair bit. And this a little, little bit of team orders, actually. No, actually, I'm, I'm thinking something different. That was a bit of lag, which lost me a little bit of time there. But now, we're right on the back of KM4. It's, it's lost the back of x Fitcher quite a bit over that lap. And it's gone wide, and it's going to let me through... So I can now attack the McLaren driver. Obviously, Dirty Air, very per, uh, relevant in this game. And it's going to be very hard to close off the back and overtake the McLaren drivers. We're both quite similar in pace, got to be said. Maybe I'm a little bit quicker, but when you're only a little bit quicker, it's still going to be very difficult to overtake around this track. And so the person that best now out the uh, Dirty Air of my teammate. And now we're setting our sights on the McLaren driver right behind him, actually. Going through the first sector, we've got as early on the traction as we can go. 
We're sort of just about within striking range. I was thinking about making a dive maneuver, but I thought I'd save it for another day. As we actually lock up and nearly run into the back of him, as I just a little bit incited behind the McLaren, but we're still right behind him on lap 17, battling for seventh place here. As I get a sloppy exit from the snail section, and that would have given me good DRS and good opportunity down the back straight. Uh, and unfortunately, I'm just going to be too far back this time. Even though I've got DRS, and we actually got the Toro Rosso Ginger Horizon, who just came out of the pit lane on the soft tyres. I think he might be on the two stop strategy, I, uh, I believe. So I actually tapped the back of him there. That's how much pace we've got, and how much apex speed. Fortunate we didn't get any damage there. Very. Very lucky, really. As uh, so now we've got Ginger Horizon all over the back of us. It's on this much fresher tyre. It's going to be very difficult to keep behind during this race. It's looking to the inside. I've got to give him a little bit of room. And we've still got x ahead. Still trying to get past. He's got the switch back on us. We're trying to get better traction. I try to, I, I'm trying to give him as much room as I need to on the inside. He's on my outside now. Going towards the hairpin. We defend the inside. No, actually, he, he goes for the inside manoeuvre. And he's got position, really. He completely mugged me off, so uh, credit to him. Uh, he's probably going to go stalling off the road now, trying to catch x Vitcher, but he's run a little bit wide through that left-hander. That's going to be all over the back of him, even with the dirty air. I found a patch of clean air to run in, uh, was uh, able to get a good run through that second sector, and unfortunately, very sloppy run through that corner, though, and he's pulled a little bit ahead of us, but he doesn't have the best straight-line speed, doing to rise on, doesn't. I'm not quite sure what Wings is running, but... Uh, not very uh, low wings, that's got to be said. And now, all over the back of the Torosso. Let's see if we can get him down the back straight. He might have DRS in the McLaren. I don't think so, actually. I think I will have DRS, though. And we're actually going to pit, not this lap, but maybe the next one, as we think, obviously, we're going to pit for the Super Soft tyres at some point soon. But anyway, looking to the outside of the Torosso. He's locking up. He misses the apex massively. We're going to get better traction on the outside. But he actually gets pretty good traction as well, it's got to be said. As uh, so we're going through the final corner now, as uh, I miss the Apex slightly, but he runs slightly wide. And we're going to have DRS. Not really an opportunity to dive bomb into the first corner, but let's see what we can do. He doesn't defend the inside at all. We're looking the inside, we give the inside line. He gives plenty of room, credit to him. And we, well, we just mug him off of the inside of the corner, so it's a great move from us. Unfortunately, all this battling is allowing X Fitcher to just move up the road ever so much, about two seconds ahead now. And we get a sloppy traction, which we're trying to get as early as possible. And we actually defend the inside of this hairpin. Now he looks the in outside of the corner. But uh, let's see if we can get the switch back on us. He's got much fresher tyres, as I said again. This is a lovely racing. Wim Ginger Horizon, a newcomer to our league. But now we've got to think about strategy. Now is the time to pit. My tyres are around 60%, so they're going to drop off very soon. And we can easily run super soft tyres to the end of the race. We've got a little bit of fuel left as well which we'll be using to overtake some people, hopefully towards the end. It's going to drop us out of the points, but hopefully we can charge our way back through and catch up even to like the Ginger Rose and Fig Cho, um, like, like my teammate sort of range. As a lot of X Fig there is going to be on the older tyres. It's going to be very slow to, towards the end of the race. And we're going to have a massive, massive pace advantage. Bear in mind, there's also quite a few drivers behind us as well, like uh, I Fenz, who got damaged at the start, Chimchar, not quite sure what happened to him, but he uh, had a quite unfortunate uh, race. I think he had a drive through penalty from what I remember, um, and he had to serve that at a cost a little bit of time. But now, super soft tyres, smashing it to the end, qualifying laps all the way. And uh, we've now got Funk Guru, who's just ahead of us on the medium tyres. It's going to be quite slow, it's dispatching very quickly. He's just left a little bit of a gap down the inside. That's a very cheeky manoeuvre, now holding his round his outside. Through turn two, got the much better traction on the super tires, a little bit of body contact, but nothing too serious at all. And that's an easy position on him. We're gonna defend the inside for the hairpin. I oh, know actually, we're gonna let him have the inside, and we're gonna break much later, much earlier on the throttle, and there's nothing he can do about that. Nothing at all. P13, let's move up the field. Narrow and rich mix, we're getting new personal best. It's only because Atchu ahead is also doing two stop. He said a purple that time. Um, so that's the only reason why we're not going purple. We're now a caught right to the back of iFence with teammates and SRL. But now he's struggling quite a bit in the Williams in P12. Doing the one-stop strategy. He's trying to catch Chimchar ahead, but I'm in the much fresher tyres. I can easily mug him off down the back straight into Rich Mix. And yeah, just blast ahead and break, break really, really late into the hairpin to 
stop any counter-attack by Fens, stop any dive bomb, and that's us easily up into P12. I've got to admit, I was really enjoying this late stage of the race, smashing my way through, having great grip in these tyres, and again, easily passing from Guru, I Fens, now Chimchar, next cap target in sight, P11, points is only just up the road as well, we've got two and a half laps left, as we almost run into the back of him, he's going so slowly on those old, ageing, medium tyres and we get much better traction I thought he was going to squeeze me off completely there but full respect to Chimchar for seeing I had much better traction out of that corner than him and now he's he, no, we've got the DRS actually he's only got slipstream hopefully he won't be able to make a decision on us and we've got Rich Mix pulling away I don't think he's going to do a dive bomb we're going to break very late just in case once again locking up abusing his tyres but really they're going to make it to the end Let's try and get all the pace we can from these tyres. Next to the road is Judge Me, which used to be DCI Shadows. Let's see if we can catch it by the end. And this, on the final lap, the back straight, this is a three-way battle for seventh place between, uh, not here by Charlie, it's uh, between Ginger Horizon, came before our next fit show. Uh, came before, goes quite wide, other hairpin, gets a time penalty when he's forced wide by X-Fitcher. Ginger Horizon goes in front of him and he's going to get 7th place. A teammate going to get 8th there, although with that penalty, he's going to drop down to 9th behind the McLaren. So very important, now on board, Ginger Horizon. And you can see the McLaren, the Salva, going really quite wide. And Ginger getting the switch back. A lovely manoeuvre by the Toro Rosso, has got to be said. And I think uh, came before will have his penalty removed, or he's taken to the stewards anyway. So he might get it removed, so he might get eight, his 8th place back. But that was a lovely battle. And let's see where we are on track. We're coming back to my fight. We're just behind Judge Me, going on the back straight for the final point in this race. Can we do it? We haven't got DRS. Somehow, even though I swear that's less than a second back, he's going defensive anyway. And we're gaining so much time in him, just under their braking zone. Unfortunately, traction alone isn't going to solve it. I think it might have to be all about the run to the line. We hit the back and go for the final corner. Uh, we've got DRS, but unfortunately just not quite enough to get past him. But he has a time penalty. We get 10th place. We get a single point. After all of the calamities we've had during that race, we still get a single point. Whew, that, that, was, that was a crazy race. Just so much battling. Just such a change to Australia. A different sort of sweaty race. Whereas Australia was uh, very much just like sweaty, just keeping track of position, hold against the guys ahead, not making mistakes. This was all about battling, uh, keeping it clean on our track. And I know there might be some people thinking about the instant mass berserk, and I fully hold on my hands to that. That was totally my fault, and I'm just incredibly lucky that isn't going to be a penalty from it. Uh, four respects to uh, mass berserk, and very unfortunate for him during that race. Um, as we're going on board of AOR Charlie, who actually finished up in P6. He had a very clean race. He well, didn't have the pace of the leaders today, like the likes of New Zealand Ryan Warden. Great Master got the win, so congrats to him. Acho flying on the two stop. Quicksilver got P5. AOR Charlie, very comfortable position in P6. And then the massive battle, Ginger Horizon, X Fitcher, came before for P7. I was only about four or five seconds behind at the flag, so with two more laps, I could have easily caught up to them. Especially with the dwindling medium tyres. So the two stop strategy, not working that bad, it's got to be said. Especially if I committed it to the starts, like if I'd done like super, like soft, super soft, super soft, or something like that. It's fairly competitive. As you see from Acho, only just off the pace of the leaders with the two stop strategy. So, something to think about for Bahrain, which might be a one or two stop, who knows. But anyway, Bahrain, next race. Hopefully, it should be a good one. I hope to see you guys then. Hopefully, for more great battling like we had this race hope you guys enjoyed please smash the like button if you did and i'll see you guys for my next video whenever that may be so see you guys then bombs out